You've heard those voices before. You throw like a girl. You're not strong enough. Don't ruin your hair. Don't mess up your makeup. Smile more. Act like a lady. It only comes in men's sizes. Or pink. It only comes in pink. Are you going to listen to that noise? Go! Or are you going to dig in? Don't stop. Battle. Let it rip. Go get it. You've got this. Don't hold back. Hey everybody, it's Jen Schroeder. I'm here with my friends Lauren Chamberlain and Morgan Stewart. We are in LA, California at the Easton HQ. Behind us, we just had some big leaguers sitting this afternoon. Lauren's new boyfriend, Giancarlo Stanton. Just kidding, don't start the rumor. Yeah, no, please start the rumor. Please start the rumor. <laughs> uh, but we are so excited. It's opening day, guys. Can you believe it? It's what are you doing? Doing? I don't know what's making me <laughs> We're going to hang out with you for the next hour. Uh, we are so honored to be represented by Easton, the leader in all softball product, truly what they're doing for the game. And girls, females like all of you all around the world is just unbelievable. We all know that you all have a choice in wearing gear, wearing different gloves, bats, etc. But what is what Easton's doing for females in general is just unlike any other company. And we're so honored to be on this team. It's incredible. And before we start and we get into that, let's have everybody head over to the Yes. Now, uh, we have our Instagram lives going, but make sure you guys are on Facebook. So we are watching Texas on one screen. We've got Oklahoma on the other. We're going to be going through products. We're going to be going through Q&A. We've got giveaways. We're going to be bantering on who's the best team in the country uh, in a few minutes probably 20 you're going to find out who our world series picks are our top eight teams who we think are going to win the world series uh i don't know i think lauren may go with ou who knows maybe she'll pick ucla probably probably uh, not <laughs> probably, probably, i'm gonna say i'm gonna let you guys know now probably not uh, but we're really excited we do <laughs> come on go bruins can we eight clap i'll teach you all are you gonna are you gonna pick the bruins uh, who, you'll see they gotta stay tuned to see who i'm gonna pick as the national champion so anxious I, <laughs> And I gotta say, I am in a room right now with uh, four national champions, and I'm not one of them. Isn't that, that's terrible, right? We've got. Why are you gonna bust out the stat on how many national championships the Bruins? Have? Well, they, the Bruins have more than anyone else, and they're an Eastern team, everybody. They okay, swing Eastern. That's the only reason why I'm not walking away right now. <laughs> Why. Uh, but let's talk about what Easton has coming yes. because we just launched the Ghost Advance, which is can incredible. I, can yeah. I start that? I, yeah, I need to hear about this it. This is the Ghost Advance bat. If you've seen the commercials that I've done, you guys know how I feel about this bat. <laughs> I'm super passionate and kind of in love Ooh. with the technology. But no, for real, we've got some new things going on. So we've got the really soft handle, a curved handle too, so you get more power leverage. Lizard skin grip, which everybody ends up switching to a lizard skin grip. Oh, this is, that's like the thing. In it, yes. You've got a really cool connection piece here. Trampoline effect. I'm telling you, when you hit this bat, you feel the power coming off of the bat. So I am. Uh, it's it's really easy to talk about because I actually believe in it. Yeah, like, love, you sound really I, passionate about it. It swings like a pro bat to me. It right. really does. Like that's the level. And of for for people at home that don't get that, what do you mean by so pro bat? When you have a regular bat, so say you've got a college level bat, and then you've got a professional level bat, which is what I used when I played four years with the Pride. So um, they kind of can juice the bats up. They have different uh, testing levels, and you can kind of get away with a little bit more now. With this bat, it's a regular, like you could say a college level bat, mm -hmm. but it's really, really hot. And I can tell a huge difference between the bats. I hear, I hear a lot of girls ask this question, or parents, mostly dads go, hey, so how big's the sweet spot? Dude, it's like the whole thing. Okay, the whole thing. <laughs> no, and I'm not, I'm not even It's lying. like that's a foot and a half long of sweet spot. That's, no, that's it's like, the, it's like a miss hit and it goes, which is what you would want. Like yeah, that's what everybody wants. It want, yeah. Looks like the tech on that. Four hundred on a pop up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Four hundred. <laughs> out of here. Yeah, get that out. Of We've here. got. So we're watching Texas right now. Texas is swinging the ghost ad advance, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think they're swinging they it. They are. So Texas is another Eastern team. Yep. Which again, you know, I'm an OU person, but. Tex yeah. Texas, is, hey, hey, hey. Texas is family, Easton. Right? 
Uh, Lauren, Texas. is Texas going to be at the World Series this year? Uh, yeah, I, okay. I, I do think so. All Do right. I think that they're going to make it past OU? Absolutely not. <laughs> Fair. Fair. I got you. Did you Did you know that Lauren, that Lauren that Morgan wanted to go to Texas? That was her dream yeah, school. Did. did you? My dad went to Texas. Oh, okay. So stop doing your horns down stuff. <laughs> that's so soft. That's literally the softest thing I've ever heard. You know that's actually like a thing. Like you get penalties if you. Oh yeah, they down. get really really mad like, when you do this. Okay. Well, <laughs> listen. You know. Oh, oh. my God. This is what She's I, got a bat. I don't know if I would start a fight with her. I'm not trying to start a fight, but I'm just trying to explain what it means to people from Texas. Because my dad explained this to me when I was like 10. Okay. Because I think somebody did it, and he goes, Morgan, if you ever see anybody do that, that's the only time that you can just punch them right in the face. <laughs> okay, it's, people it's, at home, we do, we do I, is this violence is not okay. We do not use violence. Jen, you want to sit in the middle? No, 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 no. Sorry. No. Oh. I'm not going to punch anybody in the face. I'm, okay, just, good. I, I, I'm just saying it's like, that, that's just what it's, it's, it's like. It's like a level of disrespect. Like it it's really like, is like that, flipping yeah. somebody off. Yeah. No, you're lying. I mean, I'm I don't know lying. that. This is what I've been told. Can I tell Why you a lying? story about Texas? Yeah, of course. Uh -oh. Look, I'm cool with Texas now. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, because you beat them all the time. That too. <laughs> but when we were at Texas, we were doing our fight song at the end. We uh -huh. just beat Texas. And there was an older woman moving back and forth with us, flipping us off. No. So that's a middle finger, <laughs> not this. Fair, Why fair. Why are you doing it? Yeah, no, I'm, okay, I'm done anyway. <laughs> okay, for everyone at home, though, we <laughs> will be giving out a Ghost Advance, a set of the very best gear, which really needs no introduction. It's simply the very best, and a glove at the end of this. So here's how you can win. We've had people submit questions. That's one way to win. A second way to win is to comment on this live feed, and a third way to win is to share this live feed right now. So hit the share button, have your friends watch it, and we're going to be giving away a Ghost Bat, a set of the very best gear, and a glove. Now, Morgan, rumor has it that you may be developing some cool new training products with Easton. I know you can't tell the, you know, the people all about it, but what can we know? You're setting me up for failure, I feel like. I, I would just say everything. <laughs> I no, would no. Just say everything if you, if you, whatever you can't say, I'm sure the people behind the camera will let us know. Hopefully. <laughs> well, let's see no, if they have enough no, time. No. Um, so you're obviously passionate about defense. Okay, so one, we're doing the training gloves slash gloves. Mm. So there's more than one, everybody. There's more than one. Um, we're doing them first because I believe in training. I believe in hard work, just like all of us do that have played at the elite level. And I mm -hmm. think that uh, this training, these training things that we're producing mm. um, are going to be Maybe really a collection? Working. Are you allowed to say this? Like, Absolutely. I, she's just guessing. Yeah, it's just. Oh, well, I but, am not guessing. I actually have the information. Oh. But I'm, su I'm super stoked about it just because... <laughs> I'm making too much noise with my papers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. You're really excited about this. Yeah. No, but I'm I'm really excited just because one, I mean, I saw the development go into your gear and mm -hmm. just how they were diligent and listening to. Okay, the girls are getting acne on their face. Let's let's yeah. switch out the padding. Let's right. let's make it a, a cut that's actually fitting a woman's body. Mm -hmm. um, so with the training series, we're actually we're actually implementing different things that I do in my training. Uh, that are going to be, I don't know, super cool. <laughs> okay, so do you have an idea of when we can expect those? Um, I don't want to say. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what okay. I can say. Okay, all the world needs to know is there will be a Morgan Stewart training collection that will debut sometime in the future by Easton made specifically for females. And what I think is it's going to yes. look really, really cool and it's going to be everything's cool about it is what I think yeah. is going to happen. Yeah, yeah. I, I think so too. I'm not I think sure. So. I have no idea, but it's really cool. <laughs> now, Lauren, you're the freshest member to yes. our Easton team. What yeah. do you have in the works? <sighs> Again, I can't really say. Oh, but, but we have so many surprises. New, new products could be uh, not involved with bats. Oh, which is exciting because I'm a hitter, but I'm also yeah. A but you game. played like you, yes, like you and played defense. That there, yeah, and and I can, what I can say is that I think there needs to be a little bit more emphasis on the first baseman. Oh, I love so it. it. I'm gonna say I love it. I love it. it. That's it's needed. so it needed. Well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, big so I'm really time. About that. Big time. And then I've got some catchers bags coming out that are really, really, really cool. Like so, some yeah. different stuff. There's a little detachable wristlet. You know, oh, you can cool. put your little snack bar money in there. It's uh, I need more stuff. Snack I know. bar money. Hey! <laughs> what was your favorite snack bar item? Oh. Uh, what would you get? 
Spitz. Well, we growing up in California, they had like carne asada tacos, yeah. and, like the breakfast burritos, chorizo burritos. Yeah. Like, what about you? What was your favorite? What was your go-to? Spitz. Spitz. Seeds. Okay. Any of you guys pickle people? Yeah. Well, at yeah, World Series, when I'm leading the UCLA cheering section, they make frozen pickle <laughs> juice. <laughs> I love that. What? <laughs> It's so sick. good. When you are cheering like no other in a hundred degree Oklahoma okay, heat, this is I yeah. It's like sodium galore. Oh, it's just it keeps I'm you gonna, going. You're gonna be really happy with me. Oh. Every okay. So I had to sit in the UCLA cheering section when Washington wasn't playing this last World mm -hmm. Series. I saw you there. <laughs> that wasn't. Yeah. Me. <laughs> She's admitting to she everybody. Had a happy glasses on. <laughs> okay, there she is. So, before every game. Claire and I would have our pickle shot. Oh, so, so UCLA won the World Series because Morgan shot pickle juice. So we've got Oklahoma playing over here on Jocelyn's this screen. On screen. Jocelyn, oh, she just walked. walked. We're see a lot of her first at bat balls. of her junior season, and she walked. And then we've got Texas over here. They're winning pretty big, two to seven, which, mind you, we all think Texas is going to be at the World Series. We all think Oklahoma is going to be at the World Series. And Texas was actually down two to zero oh to start this game and battled back and have put seven unanswered on the scoreboard. So pretty impressive show by Texas here. And sometimes and then, that happens. Yeah, like, absolutely. It's like nerves, you know, opening yeah. day, you're like getting a little used to it. For sure. And thinking about it, the last time Morant Ellish threw, she got hit in the head with a ball. She hasn't thrown since True. in a live game, yeah. right? Okay, that was her True. last game. That was her last game at Alabama. Another Easton team, Alabama. We love them. Roll Tide! Ooh. It could be a little foreshadowing for later, uh, but we do, we do love them. Okay, uh, so I want to talk college softball with you guys a little bit. Preseason polls, top players. Uh, Lauren is the current home run leader in all of NCAA. She's held that record since she graduated in 2016. That was your last year, right? 2015, excuse me. I just wanted her to be a little younger. Uh, but Jesse Harper from Arizona. Arizona is another Easton team. We've got Arizona alum over here, Lovey. I don't know if I was supposed to say that, but uh, Olympian is over here with us, and they are an Easton Ball Glove team. So that's really exciting. That's a new addition to the Easton team this year. But Jesse Harper, their shortstop, is 29 home runs away from taking Lauren's record. So Lauren, I want to, I want to know what you think. You want to know what I think? <laughs> yes. No, I'm excited to watch her. Yeah! <laughs> Come on. Yeah. 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 Truthfully, like, yeah, would I like to hold on to it for a little longer? Sure. Thank you. Absolutely. Sure. And you know what's cool is they're only an Easton glove team, not a bat team. So, like, chances just go down right. increasingly, I think. <laughs> but, no, I'm, I'm excited for to see her campaign. Yeah, for it's sure. It's a hard thing to do. So, like, I mean. Honestly, the pressure of it, right? Yeah. And I had a lot of people rooting for me when I was chasing after it when Stacey Newman had it. And so, yeah. I think the best thing that I can do honestly is support it I mean you want to see records broken totally not really like mine but no exactly you want to see some broken. and like no, I, I mean the longer she's chasing it the more they're talking about you that's so. what I'm saying keep me up baby <laughs> yeah. keep, keep me relevant come on no, now I liked what you were saying though about the different people in your lineup because that's yes. going to be yeah. super influential about if she's even in the running true because Arizona obviously is down Deja who's a part of Team USA mm -hmm. um, another Team USA member is Haley McClenney she's a part of our Team Easton we'll talk about her a little bit later in the the broadcast but you were saying the support that you had in your lineup in 2015 yeah. I mean it allowed for you to really have great moments really yeah yeah and not only in 2015 but really my whole career I had a stacked lineup and there's mm -hmm. no way I get that record without having a padded lineup in front of me and behind me right it just forced them to pitch to me so I think when you have some holes or you don't really have the protection that you need in order to succeed and mm -hmm. hit those home runs you'll see a lot of like what we just saw from Jocelyn a lot of walks right so exactly that's something that you do which with obviously and, she's one of the most feared hitters right. in college softball. Right, and then you hope for, in Harper's case, um, long or I'm sorry, postseason longevity, and hoping that they totally. get uh, the chance to play as many ball games as they can. Right, absolutely. So, okay, Oklahoma still hasn't scored yet. They're playing Nevada right here. Did they not just have there bases? We go. That's oh, right, right there. Nice. All righty. That's scoring two. Who was it? Who was it? Come I don't on. Know. They've got so many freshmen. I too. know. Like, so, young, so this is good. This is good for them. Who is that? Who is that? Number nine. <laughs> We, I should know. Like I'm, I'm talking. They like, are so new. She's tall. Who, so you can watch Oklahoma right now on Flow Softball. We'd love to thank Flow Softball oh, for giving us our softball. codes. You are awesome. Thank you, Flow. And then on Watch ESPN, you can watch the Longhorn Network right now. We've got our friends Aaron Miller and Megan Willis on the call over there. Yes, so Megan's on this call right now. Okay, so Megan Willis, Texas alum, is on this call Sydney right Ramirez now. Coaching first. See that? Sydney Romero's coaching first. Yeah, look. 
I can't see first base. Shout out to Sid. So we've got, is this Grace Green up to bat now? Um, I think that that's, is, that's her take. I know her take. That's that Grace. Is, is that Green Lions? Or Lions? That's Lions. Okay. It's a Grace, everybody. Yep, a Grace a is up to bat. So Oklahoma's up 1 0, and Texas is still up 7 2 over here. Okay, Morgan, a team we haven't talked about yet is your Huskies, or oh, are your Huskies. Go to, tell us about them. <laughs> they, they have a chance to win the World Series. Um, well, let's just talk about it. Um, Gabby Plain is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, everybody saw her pitch. She's one of the only veteran pitchers that's that we're even going to see. Well, not one of the only ones, but she's amazing. Top three team in the World Series, and she's only going to get better. Uh, Sis Bates, true infield Love you, captain. Sis. Yeah. She's super talented. Um, obviously, you're going to hear her. Uh, and as far as just Washington, they've been knocking on the door so many years. We have one national championship, and we've had so many great teams. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just about time. Like, let's go. And Morgan Flores, too. Oh, yeah. One of the most underrated players. I totally. Mean, you, you always remember Morgan Flores, obviously, catcher, and you've worked with her forever. But she's nails. Watching her play is you want her up to bat, and she's probably the reason why we're going to win. And, well, also, she's a fifth year. And the year that they made it to that World Series championship game, she was redshirting. Mm -hmm. And to me, same with Alyssa Palomino at Arizona. Yeah, those if are you have her. Yeah, those are two saying. like two of the best hitters in the country. It's right. their fifth year. Well, like, they're itching. They're itching yeah. for this stage. I need to see them on that stage. Right, yeah. right. Like, to me, I think I'm going to go out on a limb here. I think Alyssa's a better hitter than Jesse Harper, personally. So I Alyssa, an animal. Alyssa like, came I would, up after me in high school. Right. So she was, and and honestly. She stays healthy, and I think she's in the running in conversation for home run record because oh. she was on my butt like all really. The way and I think player of the year yeah, too, absolutely. especially she's because good. there's not. I mean, Danielle Williams from Northwestern is a hitting pitcher, but we don't have the Rachel Garcia, right? right? You don't have the yep. person who pitches and hits who's going to be dominant. So I think this might be the year for a true hitter to win player of the year. What do you guys think? It almost never I hope happens. So. I know, I hope so. Because, I, I mean, I remember being in that situation. If you have a pitcher hitter... And that You're going up against a Rachel staff, Garcia, she's right? Get a player of the year. Yeah, that's just how it is. But you also have conversations of should we have a player of the year and a pitcher of the year? Should we? I like, think yes. What up? are your votes? So yeah. Just based what are your on votes? The, the the history of who's got voted in. Yeah, I know. Because so, it's but, almost but that's like the hitter in me. I don't but know. Totally. Like, that, that's also, a little biased. It's also the nature of softball. The dominant pitcher is going to pitch almost every single game. Right. Right. So in terms of the the actual person that's most influential and she's a hitter, obviously that person should win. But I get that for an MVP, maybe at the end of a tournament. Right. But yeah. overall all year, because you've got hitters that have serious stats and they're incredible numbers right. that are like unheard of. They'll never have those numbers again, but they get kind of duped at the end. Absolutely. So. And I also think that they, they, the voters, don't look at your defensive ability unless you're a pitcher. It seems like sure. defense doesn't matter unless you're a pitcher to me. Yeah, true. Right? It, it, you could have a thousand defensive. Yeah, defense well, doesn't matter unless you hit. It, unless you're hitting. Right. Unless you can hit. Yeah. And so then it's like if, if you're a, a hitting pitcher, you're an automatic right. to win that award over even a home run leader, right? Yeah. That's how it's been. So I, I'm on board for the hitter and or the player and yes. pitcher of the year right. award. So before we get a little too carried away, yeah. like – saying who we think yeah and who we're for <laughs> let's go ahead and tell everybody who our predictions are not only to win but who's going to the world series okay and then we're going to do like in grand fashion announce who we think is going to win the world series all right yeah. morgan Come take on. us through your top eight eight teams will end in okc who are your eight teams I'm going to read them. It's yeah, fine. We all have I'm a sheet of paper. Them. No one's judging. All right, all right, no them. one's judging me. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at me. <laughs> zero particular order. Alabama, Arizona, Florida, LSU, Oklahoma, Texas, UCLA, Washington. Um, I just have a couple notes to say about these picks. <laughs> I thought we said no notes. I didn't make they them. They came prepared. These are just in my head, I guess. Um, one, I think it's you want your powerhouse teams to make it to the World Series. I mean, we talk right. about an Alyssa Palomino. We talk about a Morgan Flores. Obviously, I'm going to always want you, Deb, to make it to the World Series because it's more fun that way. But, like, a team like Arizona, I think last year having them there, that World Series 
is completely different. And um, you want to see good softball. You want to see mm -hmm. good softball. Yeah. You want to see the best players. The fan in you. Yeah, yeah. In mm -hmm. the World Series on the biggest stage. So that's all I gotta say. Wait, time out. I'm having a really proud moment right now. The first RBI of OU was Kinsey Hanson. Oh, that's my girl, guys, my catcher. Cool. She committed that's to OU cool. in the eighth grade, and I'm just so proud right now. Oh, I just cool. realized it. So I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have a really proud moment as a proud Pride coach. Moment. Yeah, exactly. Yay, go that's Kinsey. Exciting. Okay, that's a big, big moment. Okay, that's Lauren. That's the first RBI of the whole season? Um, so of OU season. Does her first have yet? to... Uh, oh, Morgan so Morgan, who's, right? who's your prediction of who's going to win? Oh, easy. Washington. This oh my god! <laughs> this is easy. I can't believe that you just put Wait, Washington. Do, do I just put just on put my it thing? on? Yeah. Okay, here. I brought enough for everybody. I oh. I'm not gonna wear it. Well, <laughs> you can wear the shirt then. Mighty are the women, Lauren. Mighty are. You can get behind that campaign. I can. Yeah. You know what? I really there like you go. that part too. There you go. Okay. All right. There you go. Okay. Go. go dogs. There's a little. Honestly, there's honestly, a little makeup on I your hat. I would love to see, as a fan of her and her play, <laughs> I would love to see Sis Bates win a national championship. I know. But I would love to see her win because she's just a good, solid human, and she's a great athlete, and she's been at that stage, and she deserved it. Yeah. I, I can get behind that. I think I think that UW will make the championship series. Why well, do you gotta say that? I do. I do. That's what I think. That's our opinion. Yeah. Okay, Lauren, who are your top eight? My top eight. Alabama, Eric, not in order. Alabama, Arizona, Minnesota, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Texas, UCLA, Washington. So I'm we all we all agree with UCLA, just for we, the yeah. I'm throwing in Oklahoma State. Yeah, I like Coach that. Kenny Gajewski does a great job. He's changed the culture there. I've talked with the team, gotten to know some of their players. I think their work ethic is different. It, the whole look is different. Uniforms on point. Mm -hmm. You should see Stillwater. Like really, are jumping. they pull like trucks into yeah. the outfield and then people tailgate on top oh, of trucks, huh? Yeah. Well, I was there last year when they hosted Texas in Stillwater, and just seeing the performance that they put on there. They're feisty. I really do think that now yeah. they're seasoned enough. They have enough confidence riding off the last year to be a postseason World Series team. Uh, I'm gonna take this off. Yeah, my pick. toss it. Well, don't toss it. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Da -da -da -da. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Seems like so predictable to just go with your alma maters. When your alma mater <laughs> is that good, you can go with your alma mater. <laughs> okay, oh, defending really, national champions over here. What's going to happen? I don't know. What are you going to do? I don't know. Okay, all I gotta say, so all why I'm is gonna, OU win? Why? They're, they're young, right? We're watching yeah. right now. Like, they're young. Like, I'm still getting to know some of these players. But there's something called Sooner Magic, and there's someone called Patty Gasso. Bottom line. <laughs> she is a queen. Yeah. And we, not just we can't for argue. reasons, but somehow OU can, they could be rocky, they could, but they always get on this streak, and when they're on the streak, they get hot towards postseason. That is true. At the really good yeah. time of the year, they start running with it. There's something about the culture that they buy into. Oh, it's complete buy-in. Complete, yeah. because you, and that's just good coaching, uh, history, people, alumni. That and somehow at there. the World Series, you're like playing a home game. Wait, it's are. true. We are playing a home game. It, it is so game, true. Everyone so cool. in the stands is rooting what for OU. Yeah, it's a little harder for people from Seattle to get there, but it's okay. Well, that's okay. When you play someone else in Oklahoma is not there, you don't like how there's no fans there, so you sh it should be an easier game, right? Less stress. Hey, how, wait, really quick. At the World Series this year, they're putting in an upper deck. They four four thousand Oklahoma. Fans. Four thousand <laughs> more seats. There will be twenty thousand seats this year in OKC. Yep, a whole upper deck. Four thousand more. That's Not crazy. Incredible. It's pretty. I've been. Nice I've driven staff. past the stadium. I live in Oklahoma, so I've driven past the stadium. And it's pretty amazing to see. I'm really excited. about Yeah. It. Uh, okay. So we got OU and UW. So All right. my eight I teams. Brought, I brought my national championship hat. To oh. Okay. Ooh. All right. Nice pretty cool there. pretty cool so i've got um oklahoma mm -hmm. they'll be in the top eight i've got u-dub in the top eight i've got texas to be just watched run rule wichita state i've got my ucla bruins the defending national champions who look a little different this year because bubba nichols and rachel garcia will be with team usa and will not be competing with them I've got Minnesota. I love Amber Pfizer. I think she does a great job. She took them to their first World Series last year. I think she brings them back. Uh, Arizona, another team from the pack. My dark horse team is ULL. Jerry Glasgow, they've got Megan Kleist there, Summer Ellison, Mia Camuso. It's Transfer Central. Uh, and I think that they're going to make it to the World Series. And then, can I get a drum roll? 
Drum roll. I've got a lot. I've got a excuse me, drum roll. I need commitment. Come on, come on. My national champions. I've got a lot of stuff here. This is wild. Are the Alabama Crimson Tide. They have sent me a jersey for my future baby. They've got my first uh, words were roll tide. I've got a bib. This one's for Morgan. And a full Alabama <laughs> jersey right now. This is my championship team. I, uh, I went to the Alabama LSU football game this year. I hung out with the whole softball team. And they've got something special working in Tuscaloosa. I know it brings back probably some nightmares oh, losing to memories. them. They were the first SEC team to win the World Series. And to me, they are bringing it back to Tuscaloosa. I hope that all the UCLA Bruins out there are getting this screenshot and send <laughs> Can we just clip this? No! Those first words were roll time! Make sure that goes viral, okay? Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm not mad about it. That's a good like pick. A lot of, what are they, gifts of Jen like doing the <laughs> baby boots? I'm really, I'm really excited to watch them. Uh, we get to watch them in Clearwater next week. They get to face off against Al or Alabama, face off against Washington. So it's going to be so we'll really a great game. It out right then. Yeah, we're going to figure it out, see where they stand. So we <laughs> also have Haley McClenney, Easton's very own Alabama standout, Team USA standout, which you can watch them on ESPN coming up on their Stand Beside Her tour. Uh, she has given us her thoughts on her picks for the World Series and then who she is picking to be the national champion. Hey everyone, this is Haley McClenney. I'm currently on the road with Team USA. We You're just kicked just off our second. Stand Beside Her tour, but I didn't want to miss out on all the fun that's happening on the college softball kickoff with my Easton family. And I just wanted to throw it out there that I've got an opinion and it's not biased at all, but Bama is taking the whole thing home this year. No doubt in my mind. We've got the pitching. We've got the hitting. We've definitely got the defense. We've got speed. We've got power. We've got everything. You name it. Montana Fouts is an All-American. She's there to stay. We've got a top of the lineup that's going to be stacked with Alyssa Brown, Alexis Mack, the transfer from Oregon, Bailey Hemphill, come on, Kaylee Tao, and we've got one of the best freshman classes, I think, um, in recent history with Alabama. So we're taking it home. Alabama softball, Natty Champs, roll freaking tide. We are so proud of Haley McClenney. She's a part of our team. She's with Team USA. She's going to be an Olympian this summer. You can watch her next week on ESPN with Team USA and the Stand Behind Her Tour. They're going to be in Clearwater. They're going to face off against Washington and I believe... Oklahoma State, I'm going off memory with that one. No, maybe Liberty. But you can watch them on ESPN. You could check her out. We, She wanted to be here. She wanted to come in live. But obviously, she's touring with Team USA. Wasn't able to. But we're so proud of her. We're so proud to be on the same team as her. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And we can definitely all agree that 2020 is the year for softball. I and think the so. best thing that we can do as fans of the sport and people that have played the sport, um, even if you haven't, get behind this USA team. Get to know the players that are on the team. This is the team that's representing the United States of America in the Olympics. So we're all very excited and proud of you guys. So all this week, you guys have been shooting us questions over Instagram and Facebook, uh, and we've all got them on this sheet of paper. And so we're gonna just kind of go around and answer some of the questions that you guys have been submitting. So uh, Morgan, I've got one for you. No, ha no, those are for you. Those are your sheets. I have my questions. Okay, yeah, Taylor's I understand. I just thought it would, I thought it would maybe sound better if right, like so someone asked a question and then, you know, it'd be like more organic, flip, but you could flip instead of, I, feel like they're asking you those questions. I was going to, I was going to ask you a good one. I wasn't oh, going to give right. you a hard one. Okay. Flip -flop. Okay. okay. Yeah. How do you teach girls to compete or to be a competitor? Oh, yeah. I think this was yeah. like made for you. Oh, Come right. on. Right. Taylor made for Morgan. I don't know. I, I just been studying my questions. You know, I like to prep. I like to be prepared. Um, how do you teach girls to compete? You put them in competitive situations. Mm -hmm. So you make them actually compete. I think that's one of the coolest things that we do in our clinics. We do it in lessons. And as competitors, when we, I don't know, we're in college practices, that kind of stuff, one of the coolest things to do, you say it like, you've said this so many times in different stories, gamer on the main, right, mm -hmm. for UCLA. Uh, at Washington, we used to say, hey, game on. Yeah. Everybody tunes in, and it's like you're at the World Series. It's like you're in Oklahoma City, and you get one pitch, all right? She either did it or she didn't. Out of right. there, right? So 
I think that's the biggest thing is put yourself in not even high pressure situations, but in a situation where you got to get it done or not. And that's how you press it. Awesome. Lauren, I've actually got one for you on my sheet. Sure. It says, how many home runs, Jennifer Holloway wants to know, how many home runs do I have to hit to break Lauren Chamberlain's record? Might as well ask Lauren Chamberlain. So I hit 95. <laughs> yeah. So you'd have to hit 96. So you'd have to hit a lot. I don't. You'd have to first get to 95. <laughs> yeah. And then hit 96. And then hit. <laughs> and then yeah, 96. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Quite a few. Morgan, what do you got in your sheet? I got a lot. I got a lot. I got a plethora of things. <laughs> We're just going to make a good selection. <laughs> the, I, actually, I think, <laughs> I think this is a good question for you. Okay. Okay. Great. I'm embracing because, myself. <laughs> well, because I think you actually would know what this is. Oh, actually, it's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle Turner asked, what matchups are you most excited for? Because I think that you Oh, yeah. Okay. What ma I'm so excited for the Alabama-Washington game. It's going to, yeah. I just got pushed to ESPN 2 on Thursday, 4 p.m. Eastern time. So 1 p.m., turn on your TV, ESPN2. I am fired up. In every single preseason rankings, pretty much across the board, Alabama and Washington have been one or two. And so I cannot wait to see that game. I know. I'm real excited. Yeah. Okay. Can I, can I ask yeah. myself one? Yeah. I'll ask myself one. Well, yeah, let's see. Cassidy Stevens, 24, asked, what is the best way to get through when you're struggling at the plate? Mm. That's a big one. I think go back to basics. I think when you're mm. struggling at the plate, all automatically you tense up, your grip gets real tight, and you're pressing. Mm -hmm. um, and you start to do things that are a little bit out of character. Um, for me, it was always going back to the basics. So, What was your like self-talk like? Um, it, when I'm struggling, when I'm doing well, it's the same. Honestly, mm. it was the same. So that was one of the best things that I like compliments I received when I was a player was very even keel. Like you I couldn't mean, tell. I mean, and that's I think that's the link of how do you do that? In, when you're when you're struggling right. and you say you strike out, how how do you keep the same? So strikeout or not, I know who I am as a hitter, and so I think the more aware uh, of you are of yourself as a player and as an athlete and what you're capable of, it comes down to that confidence and that trust that you have in yourself. That uh, on paper, if I go 0 for 22, which I did one season, if some I started a season going 0 for 22, mm -hmm. somebody else could say, oh, she might not pull out of it. But the only person that can really change that mode is me knowing that yes i'm going to get a hit and being realistic am i going to be in this slump forever no do i know what i'm capable of yes so right. i think it has to start with you pulling yourself out and if that isn't inspiration enough to know that lauren chamberlain started a season 0 and 22 and is still the home run leader in all of ncaa hey, over i do 20, not know what is over 22 is pretty tough dude i'm not I, and it's not it's not the absence of feeling things right and that's what i want people to understand it's not the absence of struggle or going through it or just I, I i'm not capable of those emotions yeah i absolutely feel those things it's how you deal with it absolutely so it's not avoiding that conflict it's it's almost like welcoming it like yes i see you mm -hmm. hello shake hands but did you have that. that type of mental confidence at 14 and 15 um, that you did as an elite professional hitter i had to go through a little bit of you know periods of throwing my helmet across the dugout and yeah. tantrums and I mean, but honestly, back when I was like eight years old, my dad, shout out Pat Chamberlain, love that guy. <laughs> He's the man. <laughs> he put a fake toilet, like that was a magnet, yeah. and they stuck it on the pole. And it didn't matter if you struck out, grounded out, popped up, whatever, uh, made an error on defense. You had a set amount of like seconds to think about it, and then you press the flush, yeah. and it was an automated flush. Like you could hear totally. the flush. So think about this. You're fuming. You are crying. Like you're, you know, when you're young, mm -hmm. and you're just like so frustrated about failing, and then you flush it, and you can hear this like, <laughs> yeah, like go down flush. the drain. And that's just kind of like your mental cue. Like I hear the flush, get over it. That's yeah. my time that I'm allowing myself to feel that. Totally. Way. You could buy those on Amazon. Maybe. I bought, I bought like <laughs> ten some, of them for people used, on Amazon in the last couple it. years. I think yeah. That's so cool. I did. I was like, I just, yeah, I, I feel like people, <laughs> you want some? Yeah. Deeper question for you, because sure. I get this all the time, too, is when did you think that you were a good hitter? Was that when you were eight years old? Was that when you were 14? Mm. Like, when did you identify, like, no, I'm Lauren Chamberlain. I'm a great hitter. It was in high school for me. It was in high school. Because, like, I think the toilet thing, flushing it, 
would probably, and this is speaking from just my experience, I didn't identify myself as a good hitter probably ever in my co mm -hmm. like college career. Like mm -hmm. I've had success, mm -hmm. but I think the toilet thing would work for me on defense. Ball yeah. goes through my legs. Right. Ah, oh, man, but I'm I'm a really good defender. Yes. Flush it. Yes. But like exactly. hitting, if I never think like I am a great hitter, right. like those strikeouts are just like ah, oh, that's me being a bad hitter. Yeah. Ah, oh, this that's me. Okay. Right. Well, and I think hitting too, it's so easy because you, it's average and it's, you're, you're really like, we have losing averages. Like when you look at it, right. it's like below the median. Yeah. Level, you're so. hitting 400. That means you're getting a 40% on your math test. When yes, you think of it like that, you're like, you're wow. Succeeding. So it's not for the weak hearted or sports not. No. So I think if you can manage that and deal with that, but again, it comes back to that, like knowing who you are yeah. and what you do. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I remember, so I've known Lauren since she was like 14 or 15 years old, and she became a part of the Firecracker organization. Mm -hmm. I remember after your first weekend, Tony Rico, I'll never forget this. He goes, um, normal people hit home runs like this. And he goes, Lauren Chamberlain, she hits home runs like that. <laughs> and gave this huge demo. I'll never forget really? it. I didn't even yeah, know you that. Yeah, like, you're like a sophomore yeah. in high school or something. Yeah. I just joined this team. And she joined this team that had all these people that were on Studs, the like junior it. USA team. All, Wilson, they were all committed. Lonis, Everyone yeah. was committed to college. She wasn't committed, yep. right? And I'll never forget that. And then she goes to college and literally hits balls like that all the time. Well, but I can tell you too about that first weekend. I let two, you want to talk about like messing yeah. up, needing yeah. to flush the toilet. My first two plays, he's me at shortstop and I was like dude like this is my first weekend <laughs> and it was the first real like college recruiting uh -huh. tournament that I was at and ten Why I believe Tennessee was there I mean uh, because he it's wanted a to put me in competitive situations yeah. that's why he was trying to build me up <laughs> two balls went under my glove Ooh, two feels to good. short two I ended up getting like a couple like I think I got a couple hits but I just remember like my knees were knocking and I just felt like terrible and I was like don't freak out don't freak out right. and I actually ended up getting a call from the weeklies the next week and said yeah you missed two balls but the way you responded the way that you trusted yourself and you picked yourself up on you know and I can I can literally imagine so some parents yeah. and some kids having a different perspective on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One, why did my coach put me in that situation? Right. Right. Two, I wasn't prepared. Right. Like I didn't have practice. But you're going, okay, don't freak out because I'm I'm showing people how I deal with yeah. failure. Mm -hmm. Right. And I have other opportunities. Yeah. It's, it's okay. I know I'm good. I'll pick it up. I'm just nervous. Right. You know, so I think that is a cool kind of analogy to yeah. how that works. Definitely. Us. And it translates to life. Right. Too. For well, sure. Softball. All right, uh, for both of you, or for all of us, no. peanut M&Ms or chocolate? <laughs> That's a question. Wait, M&Ms? From Size Size Sports Vita. Just regular M&Ms? Yeah, so is it peanut M&Ms or just like chocolate regular M&Ms? I would say chocolate. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I mean? Like the peanut or the regular? Peanut. Peanut. If you mix fat safe, with sugar. Safe, safe, safe. You're lying. <laughs> Nevada just got somebody out That's at third. That's crazy. <laughs> Who cares? Oklahoma, <laughs> Oklahoma's up 2-0 on Nevada over here. Sorry, and continue. Texas run rolled Wichita State. I would say peanut M&M's. Peanut? Peanut. Peanut. We got three for three on peanut M&M's. Uh, let's yeah. see. What I would say is Swedish fish. Oh, I love Swedish fish. So. Uh, who wins in a foot race? Not I. You are going to beat Morgan? Yes. Oh, can we see? I wish we could capture this on film. Can this be the Easton? Can we do this next time? Right know. here, we got I a cage. We got a cage right now. You. Right now, I want to okay, see it. Race. I have to go to the bathroom first. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta like stretch and stuff. There is a veggie tray out here before. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren went ham on the ranch. It's best I just sit down. She's lactose intolerant. Hey, oh my hey, God. What, what are you doing? doing? Hey, whatever. Hey, I've been keeping it cool for you. See? But it is true. I, you, I just abuse that. It's, it's not good. So I'd rather just not run. Okay, we're going to skip that question. Um, all right. Uh, how much of an impact will Mariah Lopez have at the University of Arizona? I'm going to go ahead and answer this one. I think that Arizona has a chance to be one of the top five teams in the country this year. And I think they needed another arm in the circle after losing Taylor McQuillan to graduation. And so I think that pickup for Arizona is crucial to their success. 
And I think it's probably just, it was a good fit for her to move from Oklahoma right. to Arizona. Just a good fit altogether to transfer in general well, for and I both think you teams. you see that when people transfer, you get kind of almost like a different version of them. Because uh-huh. they, if you're in a good situation, you feel a little bit more comfortable. And confident. You trust your stuff. They want you. You know what I mean? It's just a, a different environment. You might get a, a different level of pitcher. It's yeah. such a cool concept thinking about, all right, hey, if you didn't go to Oklahoma, who would you have been at Arizona? Right. Yeah. That's weird. Honestly. I have yeah. another question okay. for all of us. Yep. What is your biggest pet peeve on a softball field? <laughs> I know what Morgan's going to say. <laughs> I already told you my answer. That's why it's not funny. Um. My biggest pet peeve, or I mean, I hate this, is if I wasn't the last person to touch the pitcher's hand before she pitched. Like, I had to call time out. It was, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it was my thing. Yeah. Pet peeve, I would say untucked jerseys oh yeah like i think Ooh, that's we're not hustling of, yes oh, oh that makes I me so a mad lot of pet peeves that's the problem not running out of pop fly that's fair yeah it irks me like, like go I'll be on scream. be standing on two I'll scream because that's throwing just disrespectful your glove. throwing your glove yeah mm-hmm. yeah those oh catchers that are like super loud and like think that the umpire cares what they're talking about but they really don't <laughs> she's talking about me everybody Say I'm coming around to score and there's no person telling me whether to slide or slide. <laughs> Tell me what to do. I can't see the ball. I have a pet peeve. Coach is not letting me steal. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. You're seriously. a good base runner. Thank you. Yeah, you're I a really good base runner. I know. You're a good base but runner. But some, some of these coaches. They just don't see your potential. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm nervous for the race now. <laughs> I, still, I think nervous. I stole one base in my whole career. Really? Girl, I well, was a team leader. Hey, Whoa. watch out. It's a yes! Fact. It's a fact you all probably didn't know. Is that Lauren, Lauren Chamberlain was the team leader in stolen bases. I was, gonna, I was a team Not all years leader in hit by pitches. Cause I put Did you crowd the feet. plate? No, I was really far away. You just were like stuck. <laughs> I was like cement. You just were stuck. Yeah. They kept in, I was just like in my base. Yeah. You know? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Foundation is so important. <laughs> uh, well, I want to give away a set of gear. Yeah. So I'm going to give away a set of gear, a set of the very best catcher's gear. You pick the color, you pick the size. Woo! But Instagram handle dot Hannah dot Jones dot or period Hannah period Jones period. I will DM you personally. You have just won a set of the very best gear that sold out practically everywhere. So congratulations. Here was your question. What has been some of the hardest challenges that we've all had to face when playing softball? For me, for sure, it was injuries. I faced a lot of injuries with knee injuries, herniated discs in my back, and just figuring out how to not let softball be my identity, which it was for so long, and then figuring out how to still be a team player while going through rehab and just how do you be a part of the team when you're not a part of the team on the field? And, and how do you do when you're not playing and then you're going into a starting position? It's just it's really, really, really difficult for me. And I had a very hard time with that. So by far, that's one of the toughest things that I dealt with as a player. Mm-hmm. Um, I dealt with feeling like time was running out, especially like being in a slump and being like super in my head. It, it, and because I feared that, thinking, oh my God, I'm wasting my opportunity, it ended up taking more of my time because that fear and anxiety just ate me up. So uh, being in a slump and staying in it because I thought that it was uh, my identity mm-hmm. in softball. Let's get these questions from us. Uh, what has been some of the hardest challenges that you've had to face while playing softball? Um, I would say living up to expectations, mm. like living up to the hype. I think going from breaking the home run record, being drafted number one, and then walking into like a very, at the time, competitive league yeah. um, and being expected to hit another 30 home runs, like, you know, right. however many home runs, in a league that you, you're not seeing a ton of home runs. And so for me, I'm always very hard on myself. And my rookie year was the hardest year of my playing career ever. Like of Just create after you come off this huge high, I mean, right? Like, and that's all in one year. That's in a couple of months. Yeah. So you go straight from the college season to your professional career. And I think it was just a lot of hype. I had, you know, argued a contract. I was, you know, making all of these big moves. And mm-hmm. it was just a lot of hype around the home run hitter. Mm-hmm. And so I think going through that, it, yeah, it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But I think it was like the biggest blessing for the rest of my career and my outlook on softball. Absolutely. There's a whole lot more to life. <laughs> There's yeah. a whole lot more for sure. than what you can do for someone, you know? And, and I think whatever failures that you guys go through, whatever issues that you have, you players from all over, it's like, just know we were all in your shoes once. Mm-hmm. Like, I think sometimes you look at us, you're like, oh, it's Lauren Chamberlain. Like, you think she's perfect, right? She was just like you. She's a little girl with a really big dream, and she had struggles 
insecurities just like you. So just know we're always here for you. You can reach out to us on social media. But uh, Hannah Jones, congratulations. You want to set up the very best gear. Morgan, you want to give away a glove? I'm giving away a pro collection glove Ooh. to Kirsten.tinio8. And you wrote in this question. What is the most important thing that you've learned from playing softball? Mm. Really similar to kind of the hardships, because I think a lot of us have learned a, a lot from our failures. Um, I'll just go off of what I answered is that you can't dwell too much on what's going wrong in the time that you're wasting because every second that you're wasting fearing what's going to happen in the future or thinking about, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm in this rut. The more that you think about it, you're just going to stay in the same spot. So mm -hmm. looking forward, thinking about better times coming ahead. Awesome. Yeah. So Kirsten, congratulations. Yeah. Pro collection glove. Morgan's going to DM you personally. I'll remind her. <laughs> I have a giveaway winner for a brand new ghost. Oh, oh. ghost <laughs> advanced. <laughs> All right, Emma Berg Bergeron 22. Congrats, you want a bat. Here's your question. <laughs> I'm a curvy teen and I'm always comparing my body to other softball oh. players. How do I stop? I just imagine this, that you completely buy in to who you were designed to be. Mm -hmm. Like you really like you surrender to all of the comparison, you surrender to the standards and society's judgments and what we're supposed to be. And you just unapologetically, authentically be who you are. I love it. And the best decision I ever made was to like love and appreciate and live in my body. Mm -hmm. Like you can't be an enemy of where you were placed. Like my soul and my mind and my heart were placed in this body. Mm -hmm. Like this is my one shot at this life you know what i mean mm -hmm. in this body right here yeah so the best thing that i can do is live as i'm supposed to live be who i'm supposed to be totally wear clothes that make me feel good you know walk around like with my head held high chest up like yeah own the room like why not that's my that's yeah. my answer to that is for sure instead of how do i stop comparing why not live who you're supposed to be so cool yeah and I think that you guys should all go to Lauren Chamberlain's website and buy a whole lot of body merch. Just a little push for you. Little just a little push. <laughs> but I'm into it. Get a hat, a tee. We got a couple pro, pro athletes that are guys that are rocking. I love so the O linemen, right? Out. Just we got, we got an O lineman on the way. We've got a uh, contender for Rookie of the Year All Star pitcher coming out. Stop. Keep your eyes Okay. I love cool. it. Yeah. That is so really awesome. Cool. I think we've got uh, something. Yeah. So opening be. weekend is Morgan Yay! Stewart's birthday. Birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Morgan. Oh, that's nice. Happy Jeez, Hello. Happy birthday, Morgan. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's a little surprise we had for you. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Where's the forks? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do this. We're all awesome. hungry again. All we've been doing is eating. I think that's all, uh, that's all we have. Is that, that all we have? Oh, we got to just eat the cake. Really quick, we, do, we have any question, do we have any questions that came on through social that are really good, that are people back behind, our Easton people in the back who make this whole show go. They design bats, design gear. They're just the best. These are the real people. Yeah, these, these are, are the real, real MVPs. MVPs. We're the faces, but they're the MVPs. So we got anything cool yeah. you want to answer? So what do each of you want to accomplish as Easton ambassadors? Oh, cool. I'll, I'll go first. Yeah. yeah go. I think bringing the best product to the softball player. And I think with all of our authentic relationships that we have with our fans and our connections that we make, whether it's social media, at camps, at clinics, out at the ballpark, we know and we have a pretty good feeling of what the current softball player wants mm -hmm. and needs. So I think carrying out and, and really delivering the best product. Absolutely. Um, I think Easton's got the best bat, got the best gear. Glove, we are going to elevate it and make it the very best. Hey. Uh, <laughs> glove <Did> ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, gloves are such a personal part yeah. of your experience as a player. And so I just want to do my part and try to make it as great as possible because uh, 
we are tired of wearing just baseball gloves that yeah. is mm -hmm. repurposed as softball gloves. And shrunk so, down for a smaller hand. Go. Softball uh, world is really lucky to have you design your gloves. Absolutely. Uh, for me, and I have to just take my hat off, give hats off to Easton, because they allow us to create things for you. And uh, other companies don't do that. Yeah, no. They just don't. So for me, it's with every piece of product that Easton comes out with, I want you, the athlete, to feel the most confident that you possibly can. Whatever it is, I want you to know that you, have, you are confident because you are swinging the very best, you're holding the very best, you're wearing the very best. And, and I just want that to breed confidence within you. So I honestly thank you to Easton. Like mm -hmm. uh, you guys are behind the scenes, but truly it's because that you allow us to create products for girls. Yeah. And other companies aren't like that. So we're indebted to you. Thank you very Thanks, much. Guys. Yeah. Thanks. Well, we had so, a good time yeah. today. Yeah. Maybe we'll do this again. If you guys want us back, we'll be here. <laughs> yeah. We're here, uh, my, what, what? Every I don't week. know, every, every week, here, weekly I'm show. I'm coming in every week. <laughs> I'm actually taking residency up in like this unused part of the office. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They're putting a mattress in tomorrow. Lord <laughs> Chamberlain is gonna live in a loft above I'm the gonna live in the hit lab. <laughs> <laughs> Come visit, she'll have visitation hours. Uh, <laughs> Friday, four to five. <laughs> well, thank you awesome. guys so much. Thanks for tuning in with us. We'll see you soon. Bye everybody. Bye, go Easton. <laughs> You've heard those voices before. You throw like a girl. You're not strong enough. Don't ruin your hair. Don't mess up your makeup. Smile more. Act like a lady. It only comes in men sizes. Or pink. It only comes in pink. Are you going to listen to that noise? Or are you going to dig in? Don't stop. Battle. Let it rip. Go get it. You've got this. Don't pull.